Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you all the upgrades I made to my Toyota RAV4 and a few accessories that I purchased. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and let's get into today's video. Front license plate? Without the front plate, I think the front of the vehicle looks more appealing. Make sure you check with your local laws before doing so. Also, if you can catch it earlier, tell them not to put it on so you don't have two holes in the front from the screws like I do. Get your front two windows tinted. That way they will match the factory tint of the back two windows. In my opinion, this enhances the overall look of the vehicle. Toyota offered to do this when I purchased my RAV4, but I decided to take it somewhere myself and had it done locally for about $150. If you buy a high quality tent, it'll help prevent the interior from fading and keep you cool during those hot summer months. Do a chrome delete to get rid of that tacky looking chrome. Both windows have a strip of chrome that visually did not appeal to me. A chrome delete is wrapping the chrome pieces with black vinyl. I've seen people put rain guards over the chrome pieces to eliminate them, but I prefer the look of the chrome delete. Since the top of the vehicle is a glossy black, when I took it into the shop, they decided to go with a gloss black vinyl versus a matte vinyl so that it would blend in with the roof. This cost me about $150. Since you already got rid of that tacky chrome and tinted your two front windows, make sure you complete the look by blacking out those emblems. I thought about debadging the vehicle, but decided to go with the blackout option. Overlays included are RAV4 Hybrid, XSE Hybrid, Toyota logo, and all-wheel drive. You can easily order these through Toyota's parts center online. Purchase and install all weather floor mats in a cargo liner. These are precisely molded to fit your vehicle and keep your carpets clean and dry. If you happen to spill coffee or track mud into your car, don't worry because they're easy to pull out and clean. These provide better protection than carpeted floor mats, which easily absorb water. If you live in a wet or snowy area like I do, then these are an absolute must. The cargo liner has a molded perimeter, which can help contain spills, and the design also helps protect the rear back seat. These have really helped protect my vehicle from dirty and muddy hiking and camping gear. You can order these through Toyota's Part Center online. Paint protection film is basically a clear plastic film put on your car to keep it looking better for longer. It protects your vehicle from flying debris on the road, bugs, contaminants, and fading. I do a lot of freeway driving and encounter many semis that chuck debris behind them, so I decided to invest in a quality paint protection film. I have this installed on the hood and front bumper, side fenders, door cups, door edges, mirror caps, and the top of the rear bumper. There's also the option to do partial hood and partial fenders, but based on my needs, I decided to go with more of a full coverage and it has protected my car very well. You can still wash and wax your vehicle just as you would with the original paint. I've driven almost 36,000 miles and still don't have any chips on the front of my vehicle. While we're on the topic of protecting your car's paint, it's a good idea to consider investing in mud guards. These catch dirt and debris that are kicked up off the road and prevent them from landing on your vehicle. Toyota designed these to integrate with the RAV4 exterior styling. I think they look great and definitely help protect your vehicle from any rock chips or flying debris. This is another item that can be easily ordered online through Toyota's parts center. Roof rack crossbars. I love doing outdoor activities and own kayaks, so these were an absolute must. If you like skiing or snowboarding, do a lot of road tripping, or plan on putting anything on top of your car, then make sure you invest in these. The only downside is if you plan on opening up your sunroof, they do create a lot of wind noise. You can order these online through Toyota's Parts Center. Mm -hmm. 
A fun accessory that I purchased for my Twitter RAV4 was a key fob cover. The one I got is made of silicone and slips right over the key fob. I decided to go with black and got this on Amazon for $10. It protects the fob from minor drops, wear and tear, and scratches from other keys. If you get a bright color, it can also help you easily locate your key. If you have any items rolling around in the back of your SUV, then it's time to invest in a cargo organizer. This is a great way to easily organize your stuff. I purchased this one on Amazon for $20. This product is not limited to Toyota RAV4. It can be used on any vehicle with a similar size trunk space. There are a few other upgrades you may want to consider. The first one is black exhaust tips. I thought about getting black exhaust tips to go with the blacked out look, but I just haven't pulled the trigger. Here's a peek at what they look like. Body side molding strips. I thought about getting these to avoid dirtings, but I think they look tacky, so I just try to park as safely as I can. I think the idea is great in theory. Tires. The factory tires are not the greatest, so some people prefer to get better tires sooner than later. I still have the original tires, but once the tread gets a little bit lower, I plan on upgrading. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.